everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we're going to be going over the flexor pollicis longus muscle. I'm going to be going over the location of it which includes the origin, also known as the starting point, the insertion, also known as the ending point. Building on from that, I will be adding the functions and then I'll finally add an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So to start off, let's go off with the location and then we'll build from there. So the origin or the starting point of this muscle is located in two different locations. The first location is on the anterior medial surface of your radius. Okay, that would be on this bone closest to your thumb. And then the second starting point would be located on the medial anterior surface of the ulna just beneath the coronoid process which is just below the elbow joint. And then this muscle runs down along your forearm and inserts onto the base of the distal phalanx of your thumb, and that's on the palm side. So now that we know the location and pinpointed out on my body where this muscle is, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a photo so you know exactly what I'm talking about right here. Okay, so now that we know the location of the flexor pollicis longus muscle, now we can apply its functions. So the function, this muscle has multiple functions, okay? Its main and primary functions are to flex the thumb, and that is at all three uh, joints here. One, two, and then three. Okay? And then, and that is individually or simultaneously. So we're talking about flexion like so, flexion like so, or like so. We're also looking at abduction of the wrist as well as wrist flexion. So now that we know the functions of the flexor pollicis longus muscle, now we can apply its exercises. So you can exercise this muscle through all of its functions by adding the weight, obviously. Um, however, like I said before, its primary and main function is flexion of the thumb. So if you take a spongy ball or like a stress ball and you hold it in your hand and you squeeze it with your thumb, that's going to aid in the strength of this muscle the best. Uh, the other exercises that you can do, you could also use a dumbbell and do abductions as well as wrist flexions. However, like I said before, that is not the best exercise. It will aid in strengthening it, but it is not the best exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some exercise examples here for you right here. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you found it, it valuable to you or helpful, please hit the like button, pass it on with the share, share it with a friend, however you want to do it. Use it for your training program, on technique days, warm-ups, uh, just for whatever your purpose may be, use it, please. Uh, <clears throat> again, if you have any questions or comments, please insert them into the comment box below. Otherwise, I will see you guys all next week. Have a great week, everybody. See you later.